Hi, my name is Erin Bond, and I'm one of the software engineers that helped build AI Lab. AI Lab is a tool that allows you to use data to train a machine learning model that can then be imported into App Lab uh, and used in a project. So the first thing we get to do in AI Lab is decide which data set we're interested in. I like animals, so this zoo data set seems interesting to me. And then I get to see the columns of information that are included in that data set and some examples of what's in there. So in this case, we have a bunch of different animals and all of these different features about them. And it's my job to decide which of these features or columns of information might make an interesting or useful prediction. I think I wanna figure out whether an animal is a predator or not. So I'll click continue. And now my choice is are which of these other features, these other pieces of information, do I think will be helpful in predicting whether an animal is a predator or not? For example, feathers. Do I think if an animal has feathers, it means it's a predator, or if it doesn't have feathers, it's not a predator? Is there any relationship between those two columns? Over here, I have some information. There's a pretty even split. Feathers doesn't actually give me much information about whether an animal is a predator or not, so I don't think I'll use that one. Maybe venom, that seems useful. So see, there is a high correlation. If an animal is a predator or if an animal is venomous, it's likely that the that will predict predator. So if it's venomous, it's likely that it will be a predator. So I'll add that. Um, and I maybe wanna use the animal's class. Is it a mammal or a fish or a bird to help me figure out whether it's a predator or not? So I'm going to predict predator based on venomous and class, and now I'm going to train. Hi, my name is Dan and I'm a curriculum writer with Code.org, and I helped write the unit on AI and machine learning that uses AI Lab and AI Bot to train models. This screen and the next screen are a super important part of the process where AI Bot learns to make decisions based on data. We see a screen where all of the rows are going into AI Bot's head, and then we also see a screen where AI bot is scanning additional rows of data. Let's talk a little bit more about what's happening behind the scenes on these two screens. Behind the scenes, AI bot is taking our original data set and splitting it into two pieces. A big chunk of the data set is called the training data, which is what AI bot studies in order to find patterns and make predictions. A smaller chunk of our original data set is called the testing data. This is what AI bot will use later to see how well it makes decisions. When we see all of the data going into AI bot's head, this is when AI bot is looking for patterns row by row in order to help it create a machine learning model to make decisions. Each row of data impacts the way that AI bot will make decisions in the future about whether or not an animal is a predator or not. Once AI bot has trained its model and looked at the data, it's ready to see how well it does. This is when it examines that testing data set from before. Because this testing data came from the original data, we already know all the predictions, whether it's a predator or not. That means when AI bot scans the data, it also makes its own predictions. And using these two pieces of information, we can determine how well AI bot does with its own predictions. In this example, it looks like AI bot got five out of eight correct, which is only 63% accurate. Let's see how our actual model did. Now we see, okay, AI bot did a pretty good job, 72% accurate, and I can check and see. So these are all the ones that AI bot got correct. All right, so if it's a mammal or a reptile and it's not venomous, then it predicted it's a predator. Which one is, or is it confused about? Mm, birds and bugs and mammals. Um, also seem to be confusing because it's predicting it's a predator when actually it's not. I can also try out individual combinations. So if it's not venomous and it's a bug, AI predicts predator. Once we've prepared our model and we're ready to save it so we can use it in App Lab, we have one more step. We need to prepare something called a model card. A model card is inseparable from our model. It gives more information and context about the decisions we made when training our model. It tells us about the features we felt were important, some ideas behind the reasons someone might use our model, and any limitations or warnings someone might consider if they wanted to use our model in the real world in an app. 
One way to think about model cards are like nutrition labels on our food. Both of these things provide information about how the product was prepared, some warnings or limitations to be aware of, and sometimes even some intended ways that you can use this product. Once you've saved your model card, you're ready to import your model into App Lab. So I can go into the Manage AI Models section here, and I see my model Predator, and I can import it. And when I import the model, some interesting things happen. Some design elements are pre-populated for a form that looks really similar to the predict screen in AI Lab. And I also have all of the data or all of the programming code to power that choice. So when I run my program, I can say yes, and it's a mammal and predict and yes. So it thinks that it is a predator. We're super excited about all the new resources we've created for teaching artificial intelligence and machine learning in your classroom. To learn more, you can go to code.org slash AI. If you press the Explore the Module button, you'll be taken directly to the new module that we've created for middle school students. AI Lab is just one piece of this larger set of curricula that we've created to support machine learning in your classroom. You can press the View Calendar button and then click on any of these lessons to see more resources and additional lesson plans.